Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Sports Stuff. Let's get to it. Yesterday I was able to experience Levi Stadium for the first time and it actually is quite a great atmosphere. Obviously last night's game was a great game for the 49ers. Although I'm not sure if the Niners were that good or if the Rams were just bad. There were definitely a lot of areas where the Niners could really clean things up and it could have been a real blowout if they were to just fix and tweak a couple things. Blaine Gabbert definitely needs to stop throwing at his receiver's feet. And other, other than a couple, some slip-ups in the third quarter from the offensive line, the, the Niners looked pretty solid, both defensively and offensively. They just got to work out the tweaks a little bit. Um, it's a new system, so it makes sense that they wouldn't be picture-perfect right away. So, But if they can approve upon this performance in uh, Week 1, they have a shot to be competitive for the playoffs this year, I truly think. Um, they're definitely not going to be Carolina next week, but if they can finish 10-6, and six, they have a shot. But that's all speculation, and uh, we actually have news from that game. After the game, Kaepernick was able to respond from some comments from ESPN analyst and former NFL quarterback Trent Dilfer. Uh, Dilfer, who actually used to play for the Niners, said that Kaepernick is, quote, a backup quarterback whose job is to stay quiet and sit in the shadows. And Kaepernick responded saying that it was ridiculous that he would say that. And I agree. I mean, Trent Dilfer would know what it was like to be a backup quarterback and what his job was, considering he did it for a large majority of his career. But this isn't an issue that people need to be silent about. People need to be outspoken about this. And I think Kaepernick has done a fantastic thing for the league in the sense that players are now more outspoken. In a sense, Kaepernick has started a positive movement. I still believe that there is a better way to do it, and I still believe that it is very disrespectful to the flag. But in the end, more attention is being brought to this issue, and, and more players are stepping up and looking to make a difference and are becoming more active. In the NBA, Mitch McGarry, a forward for the Oklahoma City Thunder, has been suspended for 10 games after violating the NBA's anti-drug policy. This comes after he was busted with marijuana. I think the way professional sports leagues handle suspensions with drugs is pretty poor at the moment. The NBA, I believe, does a pretty good job, and I think 10 games is a pretty good suspension. But in the case of like the NFL, where they ban players for literally a year after being busted with weed, but... Domestic abusers are only banned for a game or two. In sports, you're pretty much told right from the get-go that you have to be clean, 100% clean. Um, but I, there are medicinal benefits to marijuana, and I think some players, some athletes could benefit from that. So for those players that would benefit from that, why take that away from them? Now, to be honest, I had never heard of Mitch McGarry until the story came about. He has put up some pretty lame numbers as an Oklahoma City Thunder. He has been hindered by injury a little bit, and this is, and this is his second suspension for anti-drug policy violation. So there was that, and I thought that was a pretty interesting story. And Ryan Lochte, once again, is in the news. Ryan Lochte, who is currently doing a stint with the show Dancing with the Stars, after one of his performances, he was rushed on the stage by two men who were wearing anti lochte shirts. Now the reason for this was that they said that they don't believe a liar should be celebrated and portrayed as a star on national television. Ryan Lochte, of course, was banned by the United States Olympic Committee for 10 months and he will not be allowed to participate in the 2017 World Championships. That punishment, I believe, was just, and I understand what the men are doing. I just don't think that was the right platform to do it because all they ended up doing was getting themselves arrested, not to mention they got absolutely zero camera time. But just the whole situation with the whole rushing the stage thing, it seemed a little unnecessary. And I think in the end, the people are there to watch the dancing for the most part. And shockingly, that's it for today. Not too many stories out there. What do you guys think about... Mitch McGarry getting suspended for weed and just all, all in all the way professional sports handles marijuana use amongst its players. I'd like to know in the comments down below. But other than that, my name is Paul Cisneros and this has been Sports Stuff.